Hi, I'm John Musgrove, and I am a student at John A. Gupton College for the Restorative Art Lab. I'm going to show you how to make an ear today. And we're using Play-Doh, as you can see here. And so this is not going to be a very perfect ear, but we're going to give it a shot. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start with two little balls of Play-Doh here. I've got my awesome cameraman going to show down at my hands. We're going to make two ears about this size. And what we're going to do is we're just going to massage this Play-Doh. I know when we come on campus we'll be using wax, but this Play-Doh will work. And so what we're going to do is we're going to just start pressing it outward as such. Now for an ear, we want a, a more lengthy or more width in, on this side and we want a smaller, more compressed part for this ear. And like I said, these ears are not going to be perfect by any means, but, but it will give you just the general basic shape. And you kind of want to just do it in the shape of an ear. This side would be attached to the face. This side would be the helix of the ear. And so we come down here and we just kind of pinch it to make an earlobe out of it as such. And you can see that's the beginnings of an ear. Let's go ahead and get this next one ready. That way we'll have two we can work on at the, at the same time here. This would be considered the left ear if you're in anatomical position. And so this is going to be the right ear. And so there, this one's a little bit smaller than this one is. So we'll try to flatten it out a little bit. All right, now that we have the basic shapes, we're going to finish our ears. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the helix of the ear. And so what we're going to do is just take our fingers and press along these sides here and form what is the helix of the ear. Now you can, if you want to, make a little worm out of Play-Doh and you can attach it on here. But we're just going to take our fingers and try to go around like that right there. And then what I'm going to do is just take this little bit here and I'm going to pinch it inward like that right there. And now what I'm going to do is do the same with the other ear. So what we would do is we will just pinch this area right here. Move this over just a little bit here. Again, this part will be on the face, or on the head rather, and this would be the helix of the ear. And of course, this would be the ear lobe. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my finger and make an indention down in this part of the ear. And this is going to be the external meatus of the ear. This is the helix. This little here, I'm going to just put a little bit more indention and show this more. This is the triangular fossa of the ear. And I'm going to pinch just this little area right here. This is the tragus. And I'm going to take my finger and just make a, a little notch in here. This is going to be the intratragal notch. And this will be the antitragus. And then we will come around here. This is the helix. This is the antihelix. This is the antitragal notch. This is the concha. Of the ear, this little hollow depression in here. This is the scapha of the ear. And although that doesn't look like a perfect ear, that is the general shape. And so we're just going to do the same thing with this other ear. We have our right ear. Now we're going to take our left ear. Again, we have our helix. We have our triangular fossa. Now is our concha of the ear and the external meatus auditory meatus here. I'm going to pinch this a little bit right here and turn this in just a little to go in. And this is the tragus of the ear. This is our intratragal notch, our anti-helix of our ear. 
our scapha of our ear. So as you see, that is not a perfect ear, but with Play-Doh, you get a basic shape. And so that is our ears that we've made for you. In our next video, we'll show you how to do a nose, and we'll make two noses in our next video. So thank you for watching.